It's Friday, January 10th, 2014. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson and Happy New Year. Here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. The university has kicked off its centennial year with a bang. UTEP is the only university in the country to have been named a member of a national and regional university transportation center by the U.S. Department of Transportation. The institution's Center for Transportation Infrastructure Systems joins two consortiums that will receive $5 million each over the next two years. As a member of the National Consortium, researchers will tackle national needs to improve the condition of transportation infrastructure. Others included in the Center for Advanced Infrastructure and Transportation are Rutgers, Columbia, and Princeton. During this centennial year, UTEP will have a weekly column in the Sunday edition of the El Paso Times and on ElPasoTimes.com. Now that debuted on January 5th. Each week, readers will be treated to stories about people and events important to UTEP and El Paso history. Members of the community are invited to join in our celebration of 100 years of history. Share your memories of UTEP by emailing UNIVCOMM at utep.edu. UTEP's Project MOVE is planning a centennial twist and hoping for more community partners to register their projects by the January 31st deadline. Program leaders aim to surpass last year's effort that involved 70 job sites and 1,400 participants. This year, they'd like to see 100 job sites and 2014 volunteers for the March 1st event. Since the program launched in 2010, UTEP's Project MOVE volunteers have logged about 17,000 hours to fulfill its promise of working together, serving El Paso. To become a community partner, check out projectmove.utep.edu. UTEP's men's and women's basketball teams will host their first Conference USA doubleheader tomorrow, January 11th, at the Don Haskins Center. The women will take on Tulsa at 1.30 p.m. The men face Marshall at 7.05 p.m. Make sure to head out and support your minors. For more information about these and other stories, check out utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. We'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!